Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about phone interviews. In case you're preparing for an interview, then first of all, congratulations, because this means that you've been selected out of a pool of candidates and now you're off to the next round and you're one step closer to getting that job. Getting an interview itself is a big deal. When you're doing a face-to-face -face interview, at least you can look at the interviewer and you can see how the person reacts. But if you're doing a phone interview, then all you can rely on is your voice or their voice. And unless you're a pretty good talker, it can be quite daunting. So if you're someone like me who prefers face-to-face -face interaction rather than talking on the phone, then a phone interview can make you quite uneasy. Just in case you never had a phone interview before and this is your first one, then I want to tell you upfront that actually it's not that bad. And in this video, I want to help you to give you tips about things that you can do that can put you more at ease and make you feel more comfortable. Actually, last year I had two phone interviews that in the end led to a job offer, which I declined for reasons that I don't want to go into right now at the moment. But my takeaway was that phone interviews can be pretty good and they do have some advantages compared to face-to-face -face interviews, which I will go into later. Now I want to share with you five things, things that you can do that really make a difference, that help you nail the interview and increase the chances of getting the job. And in the end, I also want to share with you one bonus tip about a thing that you should not do, that you should avoid at all costs and that can make a really bad impression. Tip number one, treat it like any other interview. Don't take it lightly or more casual than a face-to-face -face interview. And that means paying attention to all the basic things such as being on time, doing your research about the company, and being prepared for the common ask interview questions. And in fact, I would tell you to prepare even more for a phone interview than you would for a face-to-face -face interview. And the reason is this. In a face-to-face -face interview, if the interviewer asks you a question that you have to think about that you cannot immediately answer then you can just take a beat and think about it and the interviewer will look at you and see that you are just taking a moment to think about it like this for example the interviewer asks you so if you are not accepted for this position would you be open to consider position a b or c and you could just do this and then answer and it wouldn't be awkward because the interviewer would look at you and see that you are giving it a thought and then answering the question. But what about if you're doing a phone interview and the interviewer asks you the same question like, if you didn't get this position, would you be open to position ABC? Pregnant pause. And that's all that the interviewer can hear and that could be quite awkward and make the interview not as smooth. And that is why when you're having a phone interview, you should prepare your answers to the common asked questions very well and have a rough idea about what you would answer to each question. Tip number two, get dressed for the phone interview. And I know this might sound strange, but in fact, what you wear will affect how you carry yourself and how you speak. If you are working anyway on the day when you are having your phone interview, then this is not so much of a problem because it's likely that you will already be dressed up or wearing something proper. But how about if you do the interview at home and let's say the interview is in the early morning and you're still in your pajamas, then you might just be tempted to just stay in your pajamas while doing the interview interview but I would strongly advise against it because it is likely to affect the way you speak and carry yourself. You're likely to be much more slouchy and feeling lazy unless you're a very good actor. Have you ever put on a business suit and instantly felt more confident? This is the same. It doesn't have to be a suit and a tie. Just put on something that makes you feel more confident, more professional and more put together. Tip number three, make use of notes. The advantage of having a phone interview is that the interviewer cannot see you. So instead of having to look at the interviewer, you can look at your notes or at your laptop. So this way you can make sure that you don't forget to mention or ask important things. Just one note of caution though, don't write out lengthy answers to questions that you think might come up. Because what is likely to happen then is that you will just read off your answer and it will come across as very very rehearsed and it does not make a good impression. And believe me, the interviewer will notice this. So just use your notes to make bullet points, to note down things and questions that you are afraid of perhaps forgetting, but that are really important. A bullet point could for example be to ask, when do the health benefits kick in? Or 
What is the next step in the hiring process? Before I continue, I want to ask you, have these tips been useful to you so far? Please let me know in the comments. I'll also be sharing more videos in future related to how you can make progress and sort out important things related to work and life. So if you don't want to miss out on any of these videos, you might want to go and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. I would really appreciate that. This next tip helped me to feel more at ease. Tip number four is prepare the location. If you are having the phone interview at home and you're living all by yourself, then it is not much of a problem. But how about if you live in a house together with other people? Then it's a good idea to tell them in advance that you will be having your phone interview at this and this time, so they can help you out by keeping the noise down and not interrupting you. But how about if you have to do your phone interview outside of your home? then that can be a bit tricky. If you've ever had to take a phone call on a crowded bus, then you know exactly what I mean. I actually did my phone interview outside in a quiet park. On that day, I was actually inside of a quiet campus building and I was preparing for my phone interview, but then I looked outside and I saw that it was such nice weather and it looked so sunny outside, so I decided in the end to go outside and sit on a bench in a park and do my interview there. It was rather quiet and not so many people were passing by, so it was the perfect spot and it really put me at ease and put me in a good mood. So when the interviewer asked me how I was doing, I could actually genuinely say that, yeah, I'm doing great. I'm sitting out here in the park enjoying the sun. I'm having a great day. Tip five, smile and walk around. I know this sounds silly, but smiling and walking around will indeed turn you into a different person. When we talk to someone over the phone, then sometimes it's quite difficult to tell what their personality is because all that we can hear is their voice. So if you're sitting down and you're like glued to your phone and of course you're feeling a bit anxious, then you might come across to the interviewer as being a bit tense and not flexible. When you're being interviewed, the interviewer is not just assessing your skill, your capabilities and experience, but to some extent they also want to know what kind of personality you have. So when you do your phone interview while smiling and walking around, then you will likely come across as more open and more relaxed. So let's look at this. The interviewer asks, Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. And how are you? You might try to be friendly, but it can come across differently. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. And how are you? See, it makes a totally different impact. Try to listen again to this recording without looking at the screen and then you'll know what I mean. Let's go over to the bonus tip right now. There is one thing that you should avoid at all costs and that is giving yes or no answers. There will be a time during the interview where the interviewer asks you a question that you would normally just easily answer with yes and no. But never just answer yes or no because that means that you've wasted an opportunity. Every question that the interviewer asks you is an opportunity to elaborate more about your skills and your capabilities and why you are the best person to fill this position at their company. So let's say for example, the interviewer asks you this question, are you proficient in Excel? And granted, this is sometimes a difficult question to answer because you are not really sure what they mean by proficient and you might not always be 100% sure about your own skills. So let's say that you think that you might be proficient but maybe you're not quite at that level yet. Regardless of whether you answer yes or no, the important thing is that you put it into context. So for example, you can say, yes, I am proficient except for macros. I am able to do basic macros, but I am not as advanced as that. So that will put your answer, which is yes, into context. The same thing if you answer no. If you just say no, then the interviewer will have no idea at what level you are at Excel. So if you say no, you should definitely elaborate further. For example, you say, no, but I am above average at my Excel skills compared to my peers. Or, no, I'm not proficient, but I think that I'm at the 80% percentiles when it comes to my Excel skills. So once again, never just answer yes or no, because every question is an opportunity to win over the interviewer. 
So those were the five tips how you can nail a phone interview. And now before you sign off, I want to ask you a question. Do you prefer phone interviews or face-to-face -face interviews? And do you think there are any advantages to phone interviews or maybe any other tips that I haven't mentioned yet? I'm really curious to know, so if you have any thoughts, please share them in the comments below. If this video was useful to you and at the moment you're working extremely hard on your career, then why not head over to my channel and check out my other videos. I have a dedicated playlist on how you can progress in your career and also how you can get ahead on important things in your life. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.